So, uh, here we are Sunday morning, October 14th, and uh, didn't get this field finished last night. We're just getting the combine serviced and ready to go. So, uh, check the oil, fuel it up, and add some diesel exhaust fluid. Rained a little bit here last night. Just a little bit of drizzle, but uh, nothing too serious. A little more at my house, but not so much here. So, we should be going here pretty soon. There's a couple grease fittings up here uh, between the rotor and the engine. So you got to lift the engine compartment up, climb down in here and get these. They just take a few pumps each, but not too bad to get to. And of course add the diesel exhaust fluid uh, no video of that this is hard to do I uh, got to use both hands otherwise I'm gonna spill it and this is not good stuff to spill and off we go Okay, so I had my choice this morning and I picked grain cart because I like running grain cart. I, this is probably my favorite thing of harvest. Uh, I do like running the combine, but I, yeah, I just like running the grain cart better. So that's just me. Of course they say uh, the guy that runs a grain cart gets blamed for everything that goes wrong. I don't know if that's really true or not. So unless I deserved it, so anyhow. coffee I drink coffee every day um, usually a pot a day especially when I'm home I make a full pot I drink it have a couple cups with breakfast and then uh, pack the rest in a travel mug and thermos and I will drink coffee till about noon I drink my coffee black that's the way I like it with nothing in it and back when I was 18 and working at a farm equipment dealership uh, service manager there was a little guy named Dave and I went to put cream and sugar in my coffee and he says, whoa, hold it. He says, you'll never become a real man if you put cream and sugar in your coffee. So I never did. I learned to drink it black and that's the way I like it. I never even tried uh, cream or sugar. So there you go, folks. You learned something about farmhand Mike today. And we were losing a little bit of grain last night. Uh, we didn't realize it. I think it was the head shelling it, but uh, just checking the combine here, see where the we're losing the corn from. I think some of it's just the head shelling. This corn is awful dry. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, that's a lot. That's not good. But looks like we're 
losing a lot out of the head. Look at that. Sure are. Might have to tighten up the stripper plates a little bit or something, but most of that is header loss, I would say. is not quite a half a mile long um, close to it but uh, anyways uh, combine can make we have to unload right here on the end so he can get all the way back and just get turned around and then we have to be waiting there with the grain cart again so uh, uh, gotta keep this grain cart moving here this corn like I said uh, in my vlog last night the test plot or yield plot right here was making 299.8 and uh, this is just really good corn. And we figured out where we was losing the corn. Of course, we're getting the header loss, like I talked about, but also on the feeder house of the combine, there was a broken spring and the one door there was uh, getting pushed open just a little bit and dropping corn right down the center, which at a quick glance, looked like it was coming out the back behind the sieves. But we did uh, open the sieves up a little bit too. They were a little tight, but we are getting a little bit of header loss, but this corn is dry.
bass backwards way of doing it, but uh, just getting these end rows cleaned up here by the trees, and you got to do what you got to do. So we were talking we were going to switch to uh, soybeans right after lunch and now it's clouded back up there is a nice breeze though i think the beans would be fine and when they go to do beans i was going to finish drilling that wheat and anyways i'm not sure now so just got a little bit of this field to finish here be kind of nice to finish it too so just wait and see i'm just going to keep hauling until they tell me different it's about 56 degrees out. Uh, it's been getting down in the 30s the last couple nights, so it's starting to feel like fall. Okay, so I may have told you wrong earlier. Um, I don't remember if I said this corn is 19% moisture. Uh, we got the holding bin about full. We're going to get this field done here. Uh, we could move to another storage bin if we can find some dry corn. It's uh, kind of moist outside, damp, so the idea of going to soybeans was uh, canceled. So, just going to see here. But anyways, we got another field knocked off today. It's about 5 o'clock here Sunday night, so we'll see what happens. Okay, got that field done. It's uh, just misting just a little bit. There's really nothing on the radar, but you can really feel the moisture in the air and just uh, you know, like it's spitting in your face a little bit. So um, it's a little bit after five o'clock here. I'm guessing this is gonna do it, but we'll get up here and see. Uh, should be able to fit what's left on the grain cart on the last semi, so everything will be on trucks. Get it back to the farm and um, go from there so I guess uh, it's a good thing we didn't switch the beans when it looked sunny earlier because it got cloudy and now it's gotten even cloudier and you can feel the moisture in the air so whoever made that decision I'm not sure but it was the right decision so that'll do it for now and we're just gonna get everything moved back to the bins here so we're gonna drive the one semi back left my GoPro in the tractor so I'm gonna try to get a couple shots with this camera here and we'll get back to the bins and we'll walk around the bins a little bit and that's going to wrap it up for the day rain picked up a little more All so right, we decided to, to call it quits here so pull in here and drop the camera <laughs> 